All right, I am back. Today, I'm going to be trying to make a couch. Uh, or at least, I'll be, be very trying to make a couch. I've never made one before, but my first attempt. Um, so this is half inch birch. This is the good wood right here. Um, and I'm trying to make the armrest today, or at least cut them out. So this is, um, it's gonna be 19 inches high. And like, uh, I wrote down a measurement somewhere, but <laughs> I don't have the measurements, but yeah, it's 19 inches high. It'll be like 24 across. And then the idea is um, it'll be like one of those fancy pull-out couches. Or I guess pull-out. I had that in my bus before, pull-out couch. But, um, you know, you pull the slats and it'll extend so you can make it a bed too. So that will be cool. So this will be an armrest and I'll just make another one. And then I'll attach it together and then I'll make two more. And then I should, it'll, hopefully it'll be six inches or six feet long. Um, I guess the, the seat part of the, the couch. So yeah, that is my plan for today. Woo! All right, so this couch idea, I guess, came from, uh, I guess, another YouTube channel, uh, Navigation Nowhere, except, you know, I put my own spin on it. I put my own mess into it. I cut it completely off, but it's mine now. So, I mean, nothing nothing comes out of the, the vacuum. So, I mean, I, I got to have the inspiration somewhere. But I feel like um, I made a cool spin on it, and this was probably like my first big work woodworking project I've had. I'm mean, making my bed. That's not really woodworking. That's just attaching two by fours together. This was actually like getting wood and actually cutting it to, into a shape, which was actually pretty fun. And it's actually has a lot of utility. Uh, I wish I would have designed it better. You know, my saying: cut or measure nuts, cut twice. Yeah, make sure to triple click that like button so I can cut thrice. I cut out this little armrest, and I got got two of them. And I'm going to, I guess, cut some pieces to put them together, and then I'll screw them together, and it'll be like an armrest. And then I need to make just another one, or I guess two more of these exact same pieces to put on the other side of the couch, and then I'll connect them with a bunch of slots. Uh, these kind of slots or down there. I'll cut those out into like little pieces, and then that will be the seat part of this couch. It's coming together. Woo! Now let me try to sell you this armrest. So look at this armrest. It got so many screw holes. It's got it's got, it's got pencil marks on it. <laughs> I guess I can erase those. But it's got uneven cutting. It's got <laughs> bad screwing. <laughs> and yeah, look at that. Look at look at this amazing piece of work right here. So ideally, this will be uh, you know good armrest, I guess. If you don't uh, hurt yourself on the, <laughs> the the arm resting, but you know, I guess I could put cushions on here. That's probably what I'll do to make it a little bit nicer or something. I don't really know because yeah. But anyways, this will be one of the armrests. So I need to make a second one of these. Um, yeah. So whoa, this, <laughs> this, wow, this took a lot more longer than I thought it would because I've never made something like this before. But I guess it's, it works. I just need to screw it in with my bus and then woo. This is what happens when you drill too hard. You get the drill bit stuck in the wood. Ah! <laughs> this has happened twice to me. Um, maybe I've just been pushing too hard on the drill. I should just let the drill do its thing instead of me manhandling the drill. All right, this is the couch. This is what I've been building this whole time. It's a couch. You know what? It actually looks more like a pooper, <laughs> a, a toilet. I don't know. <laughs> Although maybe, maybe I do convert it into a toilet. It'd be pretty nice. I can just put like a little toilet bear. And people charge a thousand dollars for these, basically buckets with fans. That's what those um, what are they called? Uh, composting toilets. They they charge a thousand dollars just for basically that. Although to be fair, um, the wood over there. That's, that was like 60 bucks alone because it's half inch um, birch. I'm oh, sorry, I had music <laughs> I didn't even realize. But uh, yeah, oh, wood is expensive. All right, so I got most of the pieces cut out. I got the, the side pieces, the, the front, uh, the support. Just need a little add, cut out one more support out of this half inch. I'm gonna put it like right in the middle and uh, It'll be supported by that. Make progress. All right, I have been cutting wood all morning, and uh, I ran out of wood. But look at my uh, 
This is gonna be the seat of my couch, and I guess these are the armrests. But I was thinking I can't really screw like uh, these little things onto the top of here. I mean, I guess I could screw it. So I got some wood glue. Probably make things a little bit nicer too. Hopefully it'll stick though. Um, another thing I got is I should have got this six months ago when I made my uh, bed is this pocket hole jig. So I can screw things in at an angle, which will definitely come in handy when I have to try to mount these to the floor. So that should be um, very useful, I would think. I mean, I don't really know. I haven't used, I mean, probably very useful when I had to like screw at an angle into the floor. It should be useful. Uh, what else? I got, of course, more screws because I have been using these things like crazy, especially with building these. They just look, I don't know, they don't look very good. I got, I got too big of screws, I think with building these because this is only a half inch birch and this is like three quarters inch uh, poplar, I think. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to cut these out, uh, get the last pieces in here. I think it should be around six feet. Um, ideally, it's at least six foot two. But um, yeah, I'm going to cut that out. It is the step I have been waiting for forever. <laughs> we are putting everything together now. And by everything, I mean most things, because I don't have everything. I have some things. But anyways, I have the armrests that aren't actually armrests because they're too short <laughs> um, for the couch, because I think that's like 19 inches tall there. Um, they're both 19 inches, but um, the height of the couch is going to be 19 inches, so that's not an armrest. That's a... I need to put like a bunch of cushions on there, and then it will be an armrest or something like that. Also, it looks bad just having the wood there. Cause I, I mean, because I screwed it in. Anyways, okay, so I will, I guess my first steps are I'm going to screw these things in, these little arm, quote unquote, arm rests, and then after I do that, I will take the little, um, I guess I'll take this piece of plywood, uh, this piece of plywood, I'm going to put it in the front and in the middle for like support, and then I will put, get this, uh, what is this, two by two piece of, uh, wood for support as well in the middle and it'll be right in this little dent I cut, cut out. I, I'm so prepared for this. And uh, then I'll put these little slats I made out of a poplar on top of that. And then I'll figure out the pullout mechanism before uh, or after. After all that because I don't even have the back plate done. Uh, an issue I did run into though is besides the leaks because I keep on forgetting to leak or shut this emergency exit. When it rains, it, it rained really hard so like, I mean, oh well, what am I going to do? But okay, anyways, one one issue I did run into is my bus is not completely straight because I want to have a closet here, around here anyways. <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing, but <coughs> since it's not completely straight, ow, 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 it's just on my phone, it's on my stove. Anyways, it's not completely straight. So my solution to that is I'm going to keep push this completely to the wall, but this front edge is going to be a little bit longer, which I think is fine. It's not like going to bother anything, but like, yeah, th this front edge will be a little bit, a little bit like, cause I can't push this any farther back cause this is not straight. So this, this, this one will not be aligned with this one, which I think is fine. Um, it shouldn't be like a big issue. There will be a little bit of gap at the end there, but that's cause I didn't want to put this all the way to the front. Because that would kind of, well, I don't know, what, what would that look like? If I put this like all the way over here, I mean, it, it kind of looks weird. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to, I like where it was, like uh, around there. I don't know, I'll, 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 I'll put it in a good spot. I'm going to screw it in and then screw everything in. And then I glued this little piece in because when I drove it over here, it collapsed on itself. So I got some wood glue and it's currently leaking. Just like my bus. <sighs> All right, I have got the drill jig or jig thingy, and then I got the <laughs> what is this? The the drill length. Wow, I don't know the names of these things. But anyways, I'm supposed to use a clamp with this. I don't have a clamp. I've never actually used this before. This is my first time using anything like it. But I think I get the gist of it. The idea is you want to put this in. I calibrate it to one half inch, like through the back here, and then I basically put it here, and then I basically just drill through here. Um, 
The only issue is <laughs> my well, wood isn't straight here, so maybe I'll do it on this side. So I drill through here, like so. Um, ah, this is not the good angle to drill from. I'm, I'm basically supposed to clamp it. I don't have a clamp that'll fit this because I've already assembled it, but I can hold it down, I think, maybe. Uh, let me make sure it's on the right setting. Yeah, it's on the right setting. Okay. Let us try. Oh god. No, no, I need uh, something to hold this down better. Or, I don't know. Let me try it like this. Ah, let me move the camera over here. Okay, okay. Let me try it here. Gotta put my weight in it, maybe. That seemed like it worked. But let's see if it actually worked. All right, I made a big hole here that looked like it kind of worked. Um, I don't really know if I can drill through that though. Um, anyways, let me try to make one I want to say like here as well, or some, somewhere right here, but it won't really, here, let me see. Let me try to drill through here. This, probably, this one probably won't work. Uh, this way. Okay, I guess that did work. Uh, and by did work, I mean that didn't do anything. <laughs> because uh, it's not flat. So maybe I'll drill again here. Or maybe I'll do it on the other side. That's probably better. Yeah, I'm gonna speed this up. But yeah, I get the gist of it now. You put this in and then eventually you uh, get a driver to drive in a screw into this. So it's pretty useful. I, I would say this was like $90 at Walmart or not Walmart. I'm going crazy, uh, Home Depot. But yeah, I could have got like way better ones and clamps that'll help. But let's we'll start small, let's we'll start small. Show them we 
are. I let's show them we are better. If we go down, then we go down together. The could do anything. Show them we are better. We are staying in Paris. 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 want to give you an update on the couch um because it is coming along even though uh, i've had to make a lot of changes i think i removed this front piece like three times it used to be like way over here because i wanted it to be straight and aligned but then i realized i wouldn't have enough room for my fridge if i wanted to put my fridge here so what i did was i moved the whole thing over like i don't know three inches three to six inches and so I had to remove this and that again and again. And uh, yeah, but I finally did get it to, I guess, mostly fit up. I also had to put in another piece of vinyl here because if I didn't put the vinyl in now, uh, it would be really hard to put it in later and I don't think it would look as good because I'd probably have to cut some. So yeah, I think the vinyl definitely looks better here even though I got some paint in the cracks um, there, but that did make it a little bit not as smooth. In fact, these pieces aren't even connected. Uh, maybe I'll do that later, but I, I, can, I can reach from this side. So I, I wanted to focus on the couch today. So I think it's finally time I can start drilling in this right here. Uh, I guess this middle piece and the front piece. And once I get those drilled in, I can finally start attaching these with the, the metal. <laughs> oh, geez. I had, didn't have my window open all day today, so I can't even think. Um, ah, it's the, the hinges. I need to attach them to hinges. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I think that's enough talky-talky for me.